Good morning, everybody. It is time to imagine it. We are inside of the tinkering room in the new idea lab, and I'm with Carl Nelson, and you've set me up with some very familiar items here. Exactly. We're working with Play-Doh today. Yes. And Play-Doh is really cool because it's a familiar material, like you said. Sure. And um, it's actually conductive. You can build electrical circuits out of Play-Doh. Okay, very cool. Which, you know, who would ever have thought that that's sure. possible? So here's what we're going to do. I've got um, two 9-volt batteries sort of snapped together. That's Check. A, that's we a, also have those at home. I'll put this back 18 on 18-volt battery there you've got. Okay. What I want you to do is take those copper nails and just sort of spike them into the end like I've done on my Play-Doh wires All over right. here. All right. Just shove them down in there. And this is going to apply a voltage to those two wires, if you will, quote-unquote, of Play-Doh. Now we've got some little LED lights here, and mm -hmm. I've spread the legs apart. Go ahead and see if you can bridge your two wires with an LED so we can see if we can get it to light up. All right, I'm gonna move and these so, a little bit closer here, and... Mm -hmm. uh, and okay, this is great. You chose the perfect orientation where it doesn't light up because LEDs actually have a polarity. If we rotate that around, oh, now okay. it'll light up. Okay. It's like a one-way valve for All electricity. Right. one-way street here. So do yeah. I have it the yeah. right way? Go, I don't know. Well, Let's go see. ahead and try it. It's, it's trial and error. You got a 50-50 nope. shot. Okay. <laughs> So here we go. This is why we are in the tinkering room, because I'm exactly. tinkering along, and here we go. Exactly, and I'll Very see cool. if I can add another one here. Now, of course, the LEDs come in different colors. Sure. Now, the cool thing about this is, is a great way to start talking about simple circuits in a non-threatening way. Okay. And one thing that happens with circuits is you can have a short circuit. If you push your two pieces of Play-Doh together gently, mm -hmm. and just kind of touch them together, oh. the lights go out. But if I pull them apart, oh. It comes back. Okay. Now, the current wants to take the uh, path of least resistance, okay? okay. And Surprisingly, this stuff is fairly sophisticated in how it works because this is not like copper. It doesn't have a super high uh, conductivity. Mm -hmm. If I take this ball of Play-Doh and stick it right at the end, oh, and we've made a short circuit, but only the first, but only the first only light the first went one out. Goes out. There's enough resistance down here that this path is actually the path of less resistance. Hmm. And so it actually light those up. And that's totally different behavior than if this was a copper wire. Because it would shut the whole thing down, It would shut right? the whole thing okay. down, exactly. So there's really some sophisticated, like, um, resistor networking kind of stuff that you could do. In Play-Doh. In Play-Doh, okay. which is crazy. And even better is, and we have the instructions for this on our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org, mm -hmm. this Play-Doh I made with sugar instead of oh, salt. Okay. So this Play-Doh is actually an insulator. Mm -hmm. So check this out. I can right. push my two wires. So we have regular Play-Doh and we have the homemade Play-Doh made with sugar instead of salt. Okay. Exactly. And so it's an insulator. So I can shove the Play-Doh right next to one another and I can still oh. light up my LEDs. Because they... it's not disrupting the, um, it's an insulator. the current, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So you can then take that to the next step and perhaps build a structure. Now here I've got some yellow conducting Play-Doh, mm -hmm. some red insulating Play-Doh, and green uh, conducting, conducting plate. Play okay. And if we power this up, if you could push that into the yellow Play-Doh, mm -hmm. and I'll push this into the green. This is my mm -hmm. attempt at making a um, snail. Sure, <laughs> so we'll go with let's that. Let's see if we can power up some eyes. Go ahead and take that LED, and we gotta bridge the red stuff. So go to the okay. green and yellow. Green and yellow. And look at that. We've built a three-dimensional circuit Whoa. using Play-Doh. And if that red wasn't there, it no It would dice. all short out. Okay. Exactly. And what's beautiful about this, it's a non-threatening way. It's an easy way to get into circuits. And if you think about it, this kind of layering structure of mm -hmm. conducting and insulating, conducting, is how you build transistors in modern computers. Ah, OK. Right? So I mean, the whole thing doesn't short out. It's exactly. all stacked on top of so, each other nice and tiny. It's a bit, bit of a stretch to say that Play-Doh scales up to computers. But you it's know, fine. the basic idea. <laughs> The basic idea is so cool that you can take this familiar material and build electrical circuits that light Very up in cool. 3D. And you know what? You can do all of this down here inside of the tinkering room. That's the whole idea. You get in the idea lab and then you start getting your hands on things. You can do all of this here at the Imagination Station. In fact, checking this area out included with your general admission. So something that you definitely want to do. And of course, it is Saturday. And that means that Lucas County residents who have a ch child 12 and under, they get in free with a paid adult. And that is this week's Imagine It. Learn something new every day. Hey, Carl. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs>